remember the time when I thought that my family was internet addicted. The first thing we did in the morning was to take the phone or switch on a TV set and watch the latest news. It was the spring of 2014. Ukraine was violently attacked by the Russian army. We lost the Crimea. Many innocent people were killed. We couldn't understand whether it was the end of our independence or the beginning of a great war. But yes, the war began. Nobody could expect that. Now we know that nobody can be sure in today and tomorrow. Peace is changeable. Today the whole country is praying and fighting for Ukraine. The best people of the nation have been killed. Many families have lost husbands, sons and fathers. It's winter of 2016. But if we don't check the latest news the first thing in the morning. Uh, we can even be irritated by the news now. We got used to understanding that here there was somewhere in our country. Does it mean that the war has ended? Absolutely not. Peace is a relative concept. Nobody can be sure that he will not be hitting knife in his back. Once my country before signing the Budapest Memorandum was a strong was a strong nuclear country with a friendly neighbor. Now we can observe the situation when the huge role in the conflict between other countries have played two terrible human factors arrogance and envy. The situation that is happening in the East meant many people and their families suffer. They became refugees and closed their homes. Unfortunately, we are not unique in our problem. Let's think about Pakistan, Iraq, Syria. We all perfectly know and understand that countries fought and fight for nuclear weapon for power and for leadership, and at the same time they speak about world peace. The absence of war is not enough to feel peace and sense of security. Many years ago Spinoza stated, peace is not an absence of war. It is a virtue, a state of mind, a disposition for confidence and justice. Indeed, the world is based on justice and non-military policy between states, accounting on the social interests of each nation. Only the strength of spirit does not let violate these rules. When disagreements appear, wars of various sides arise and smash nations on their way. It's hard for me to witness the horrible situation in the East. I may sound naive, but I believe that we are a strong nation I believe in a bright and prosperous future of Ukraine. I believe in a better future without war. Peace is changeable. Peace is relative. But peace is possible.